Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. What is your full name? My name is Harjot Singh Punia. Where are you from? I am from Patiala, the most beautiful and royal city, which is located in Punjab. Do you live in a house or flat? Well, I live in a flat as there is a well-developed city in my hometown. Uh, I live in a society, so there there is a flat in which I live. Which is your favorite room in your house? Well, my favorite room is drawing room in which my parents gifted me a massage chair. So whenever I stressed at that time, I used that massage chair for my relaxation. How do you deal with stress? Well, sometimes I deal with stress as um, for my uh, because uh, I have a hectic schedule, so I feel very tired sometimes. So I listen songs and sometimes go outside with my friends. How does physical exercise relieve stress? Well, physical exercise is very important for every every individual because it gives a person a physique, good physique, as well as a relaxation to the body in by which the person can become healthy. Okay, let's talk about sky. Do you like watching the sky? Yes, of course I like to watch the sky at night whenever I feel so tired and stressed out because uh, good air is for every uh, good air is good for a person. So at that time I see the sky to relax myself. Is it easy to see the stars from where you live? Yes, of course in my hometown the air is very clean that's why the sky is so clearly visible okay let's talk about shoes what type of shoes do you like well i am a sports person so i like to use the sports shoes as in which the brands are important nike and adidas are these shoes expensive uh, yes of course these are uh, good quality as so because it they are so expensive as from 2 to 3000 because they are the brands as nike and adidas which i said do you think you should spend so much on shoes well though uh, no i don't think so because the comfort and the relaxation is very important for an individual the 2 to 3000 is not not that important as than the a relaxation so i don't think so now in part 2 i will give you two minute topic you will have one minute to prepare and you have to speak for one to two minutes amir start well the traveling gives a memorable experience to an individual here i am talking about one of my journey which i recently visited as i went to the rajasthan on last december the rajasthan is so wonderful city as there are the, there is a pink city in which the jaipur the there are number of number of things which are very important as uh, the person should go with the friends because uh, if you spend the time with friends you can enjoy your life so there is a there are number of things which i enjoyed as the cultures culture and the food of rajasthani people i felt like the i was a rajasthani so at that time i my experience was very marvelous because they treat me like a guest in india the people treat a person like a god as a guest so i want to recommend the every individual in whom i meet met so that the rajasthan is a very wonderful city for go and the person should visit there because because number of cultures are as those are the attached with the indians as the historical monuments monuments include with it the the other things which are very which are related to the his, history of the nation so it it was the memorable experience and i felt joyful so i also want to go with my friends as i and the experience was wonderful all right can i have paper pencil back yes ma'am okay in this part 3 i'm going to ask you questions related to vacations what do you need to do when planning a vacation well first of all person do a planning like the where he or she want to go and the material what he or she want to go with it as uh, which are very important things as uh, necessary things as like the and the things which are basic need for example toothbrush and other things and the map of that location and the person should know about where he or she stay 
and the and the things which he want to discover about their place why do people plan a vacation well in this hectic schedule people want their free time as they enjoy they can enjoy their life so because of this people like to go out and with their families as they can uh, they can spend some time with them so it is well according to me it's so important to go on the vacations as person explore the world so that's why they want they go to vacations why do countries allow international tourism well it's a very interesting question as the economy is a very important place in the nation so it also give wings to the economy and if the tourists come in the nation the economy will increase include with it the the number of things which are very important as which are which are famous in nation for example in india the tourists come to india because of the because of uh, some of monuments as like taj mahal uh, and it also increase the popularity of the nation how do they let people know about their tourist centers well nowadays the internet becomes a crucial thing as in by which person can know every every kind of information which is uh, as like uh, the what what the thing is located and the every kind of monument which is uh, um, located in uh, world and nook and corner of the world so and include with it there are number of agencies tourist agencies which are open in every in every city so by these things people can people know about the tourist centers and uh, this was this question was about like uh, international tourism okay. so you can say the countries they are promoting tourism by advertisements okay. malaysia truly asia okay. and the states like goa yes. they are promoting with advertisements kerala yes. so that more and more tourists can visit okay okay what benefits does a mass tourism have for the local people well there are number of benefits as the person if the pe local people meet meet with the foreigners or the tourists they can know their cultural values as well as the knowledge about the other religions which are very important as the uh, the knowledge is a main key of person if person knows about the others other religions and the cultural values person also enhance their knowledge as well as if there is a good things they can opt from them so it is uh, it is also it also makes their uh, makes their economy uh, increase as the tourist buy some purchase some things from the local people so it these kinds of benefits they get from the tourists and what are the disadvantages well there are some of disadvantages of the look for the local people as the sum of tourists came and they get they get amount of money with them by which the crime ratio is increase as uh, the sum of tourism uh, tourists get, um, are drugist and by by which the local people get a problem with interacting them and sometimes the cultural values are not uh, not same as them so they feel some problem in this case so overall your speaking was good your band score is 6.5 but i would like to tell you few mistakes like you were talking about rajasthan it's a state not city uh, but doesn't matter because here we are testing language then you said in whom i meet then you said in whom i met so who i met there then tourist came it was tourist come or tourist visit so little bit grammatical issues were there otherwise overall it was good you spoke well in last part you gave examples as well okay all the best thank, thank you, you so much ma'am